The Cannabis Show is for information only. You should always consult with a qualified and licensed physician or other medical care provider. Welcome to the Cannabis Show Light. Uh, Chris, I think you mean lit. <laughs> cannabis Show Lit. Oh, I like that. The Cannabis Show Lit. Coming up, the latest in headlines. Welcome to the Cannabis Show Lit. This is our rec room, so sweet, welcome. Sweet rec room, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Cool, you know, record player over We're there. Chilling. Yeah, there's chihuahuas around too, so if you hear scuffling and noise, or they might jump on our lap too, maybe you never know. They're right now they're eating peanut butter. Uh, our strain explorer today. Yeah, this is something else, Hart. Thanks for bringing this. Yeah, my pleasure. It's absolutely uh, really nice strain from Whistler Medical. 27%, over 27%. This is what they say the potential is on. Yeah, so. potential. Can you get high THCA? Because I think I just did. <laughs> I think I, yeah, so this one, uh, P171 and BC Rockstar. Yeah, they, they, they label it as a pure indica, but it definitely does not have that uh, type of thing. No, it doesn't. I really like that. I mean, yeah. we're the show awake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice bright smell. Yeah. It's not heavy heavy on the mercy, and so I think that's why. It's, it's good one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So Chris, Hart, yeah. Kate, Basil, and uh, you know, Basil, you said heavy there, and get going with headlines. We've got some heavy news to start off with, but uh, let's get right to it, Kate. Yeah. yeah, often cannabis headlines are uplifting, actually, but this one, not so mm. much. Uh, Mark Emery has been accused, there's lots of allegations coming forward around um, sexual misconduct, sexual harassment, with um, tending to be younger women, so like 17, 18. So nothing has been proven yet, but uh, it's all the industry is talking about at the moment. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about? We'll have to wait and find out, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Uh, I think it's nice that the mainstream media has also picked up on it. So yeah. they're, they're calling them to the mat, basically, right? We'll, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. And I think probably because he was the self-proclaimed uh, Prince of Pot for so long and kind of a face for the industry, it's people are going to be watching and oh, yeah. and women have already kind of said you know there's a there's a group that's doing um aligning themselves to make sure that that they're supported in the industry around any kind of allegations and i thought this was kind of cool uh -huh. the ministry of labor uh, provides a sample template to help companies draft a workplace policy cool. And because this is such a new industry for things like that, you know, it's probably pretty important that people start talking about Absolutely. what's acceptable and mm. what's not. Oh acceptable. yeah, no, definitely. And the allies are out there, with, yeah, mm. for women. Uh, what's going on over the states now? I mean, like lots of news with uh, hemp and CBD. Yeah, they passed the farm bill, so it sounds to me like <laughs> farmers can be now legally farming hemp down there, which. Which equals CBD. It's pretty well. awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it a better, is it a good, as good quality as you know uh, something from the cannabis plant as opposed to hemp? I think it's a secondary choice, but mm -hmm. because they're not federally regulated to have cannabis down there, they're going to get so much CBD derived or yeah. hemp derived CBD that Aurora Canopy they're now going into the states and buying up. Well, a New York state just granted Aurora, I think it was yeah. a license. Mm -hmm. Hi, puppy. Oh, hello. Um, so they're going to be, yeah, providing the states basically with, with hemp-derived CBD, which is... Mm. Well, I guess it goes way beyond that, like what else hemp can do, right? Yeah, well, there's yeah. hemp, too. hemp can be used for everything, but I'm really interested to see, you know, if the, the quality of the CBD is, is, with, is in comparison to, to cannabis-derived CBD, and like, man... The, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. No shortages, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Really a, a, a big uh, a buyout here in Canada with the LPs. Yeah, I think uh, you guys obviously heard about the whole uh, Whistler buyout from Aurora. Yeah, that was yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. Hundred and seven, yeah, it was pretty recently. One hundred seventy-five yeah, yeah. million. Yeah, one hundred seventy-five. Um, that was Canadian. I, I believe. I, I read that the reason they went after them was just because of their premium brand and then the organic. And they're yeah. totally organic, right? The only one still officially in Canada that's organic, or some yeah. others have organic products, do they not? Uh, not yeah. I think Whistler is Whistler the only has, Whistler has both. Uh, I'm right. pretty sure you know. So they're on their site. There's yeah. uh, the organic and the 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 regular. But uh, um, what a good get that is as an acquisition. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And and, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, I was just gonna say. I, don't, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how, how things change or if they do change. Yeah. We didn't really see a lot of change from Med Relief when they acquired those guys, did, 
Yeah, what no, do you it, guys it think? seemed pretty seamless. Yeah, 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 seamless in terms of sure. product. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And speaking of LPs, how about a little bit like Detroit Rock City in this next one? <laughs> Invictus. <laughs> yeah, Invictus just got their sales license for their subsidiary Canandia. Canandia, I believe it's called. Canandia, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, as we know, that's Invictus is tied to uh, yeah. the tongued one, right? Yeah, Gene yeah. Simmons. Yeah, Gene Simmons of, yeah. I didn't know that. You guys were telling me before, so yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. But yeah, like, so Invictus is already out there, so they have. Um, um, uh, Acreage Farms in Alberta, right? Um, so I guess this will be their second license. So, I, yeah, I, this I'm not in Delta, yeah. based out of their Delta BC facility. Right. I think. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I just always thought, you know, he was uh, Gene was always kind of anti anything like that. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, it's kind of yeah. interesting. But uh, that's the cannabis show lit for this week, and uh, next week we're going to be back in the rock room as well. So we'll see you then. Right on.